school we're out here bass fishing it's bass opening weekend right now they're all beat up they're up here spawning right now water's just right and we're going old school for them we're going spinner baits shallow water and this is the best time of year to go after there's a lot of bass up shallow not a bad fish to start it off with we'll get her back this is one of my favorite ways to fish for bass it's just a plain old spinner bait it's one of the best bass lures out there. It's got more bass than any other lure that they, I think they have. And it's a very versatile lure. You can fish them fast, slow. You can jig them. You can slow roll them down into the weeds. You can, trees, cover, any kind of cover. I mean, it's a great lure to fish with. And bass just love them. So we're gonna go through a few of the tips and tricks that I like to use when I fish spinner baits in the beginning of the year. Got another one. Oh, they get stacked up in these spots where they like to spawn. Alright, little guy, but it's helping my cause here. These fish, what'll happen, the shorelines that I like to look for is you can almost go right off of the landscape that you get. If you, uh, like kind of behind me in some of these spots, you see steeper banks, and that usually means that it's steeper coming into the water. And these areas here where the water's real high, like it is, these banks kind of taper on out and my boat's in eight feet, and I'm a good cast away from shore. And these fish, they'll just stay up shallow when they're ready to spawn, and they move out to these deeper flats when they're not ready to spawn or inactive. And you can take these spinner baits, and all I'm doing today is just kind of slow rolling them. I'm trying to keep them a foot or two above bottom, slow roll them right back, and these bass are just eating it up. We're gonna get some big ones today. It's very big. Right color though. Another one falls to spinner bait. You know these spinner baits they've been around forever, but there's still ways you can make these better out of the box. Now right out of the box you got yours is spread apart, something something close to that. Now that's just fine, it'll catch fish, but if you really want to make them work better, these little silicone skirts, the closer you can get these blades to that skirt you're gonna get a little bit more action out of it. So I pinch mine together, close it tight for a little bit, and I get that blade as close as I can to that bait. Because that's gonna improve the action, and you're gonna get a little different vibration out of those blades. Plus, it'll pull through the weeds a lot better. bad one. These, these fish really stock up like where they like to spawn they need some sand cover in that and that's where these spinner baits are perfect because all these little trees that fell over and reeds that are sticking up that's the stuff they want to be in and the best tool for the job is these spinner baits. You can pull them through just about any kind of cover and they pretty much stay weedless. I just need to find some bigger ones. All right, in the big one, but I'll take them. You know, a couple odd things about fishing these spinner baits is a lot of times you're in really heavy cover with these, just like this wood and stuff up here. And one thing to remember when you're fighting fish out of spots that are that tight and that much cover, even heavy weeds, is you want heavy line and a heavy rod. Now on my reel here, my rod, I've got 50 pound test, and I got a medium heavy action bait casting rod. 
Plus my reel is a six, six to six gear ratio, which means I can pick up the line really fast. And that's really important when you're in this heavy cover because once those fish bite, you gotta be able to rip them and lip them right out of there. I mean, just keep them coming. Don't give them any slack. The only slack you give them is they'll get in the weeds, they'll get off and you lose your fish. So you hook them in those deep weeds like that or even wood and timbers, just set the hook and keep reeling. Don't stop till they get up to the boat. That's girl. All right. All right. Big bass love spinner baits. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have spinner baits and if you, if you do have them and you're not using them or you don't, go get some and put them on because bass love them. Doesn't matter what time of year, even though it's spring now, all summer long I catch big bass like this on spinner baits. Go out, get some, throw them anywhere you want, jig them, roll them, reel them slow, reel them fast, burn them, top waters even. They're perfect. Best bait ever made. Nice bass. Oh so, yeah, just get some spinner baits, go out and throw them around because they're a blast to fish. You'll catch a lot of bass. So have a good one. We'll see you next week. <laughs>